Hey everyone, this is Dave Pike, the Motor City Mechanic. I've got another video for you today on removing the radio in a 2008 all the way up to 2010 Chrysler Town and Countries and their sister, the Dodge Grand Caravan. Check it out. Now what we gotta do, first step to get access to this radio is we've gotta remove these two plastic doors I guess you could say and you basically open them up let's grab right here for flat tip screwdriver it's got a plastic hinge on it so be careful it may have a tendency to break off over time and we got two Phillips screws up in here and what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to lift the upper cover up that we can get to everything. Now the upper cover has metal snaps on both sides to kind of snap it down. So when you go to reinstall it, all you have to do is kind of get a good couple good taps. Nonetheless, we're going to take it loose. Now, I'm not going to take it all the way off. I'm actually just going to lift up enough because there's going to be two more screws we need to get to. Hi. Right. so like I said, we're not going to take the top lid off and we're not going to completely remove this bezel that goes around the radio and has the AC control head. We're going to kind of pull it back. We would have to remove the lower portion of the console if we were going to do that. Same thing, we would have to remove the upper portion of the dash trim piece to get the top of this off, which is not that difficult, but to me it's no need. we got plenty of room. we got enough flex. But I've got two screws. One here and one here I've got to get out. That holds the top of this bezel in place. Now the trim piece right here has some snap-in fasteners here and on the side. And along the bottom, there's two screws, but we're not going to get to the screws. Like I said, we're actually just going to pop it loose. If I need to go ahead and remove what's sitting in this little coin holder. And then that's going to give us enough flex. With that amount of flex, we can now get the radio out without having to take the lower console off, the upper trim piece. We can leave them all in place. Now, this particular radio is held in with a total of four Phillips screws. I can access them easily right here, the top two right through there. And the bottom two, I'm going to access through the hole where the radio goes through. And so it's all about saving time. I'm not trying to damage anything. If I was, I, I wouldn't show you this step, so I think it's fine. Now what I can do is I can reach up in here. I can lift up both and pull out on the radio. Now she may be in there a little tight. But once I get it up, then I can start worrying about the connectors. So we got everything from the main power connector to the typical radio antenna connector. Let's go ahead and get that one loose. And then this one only has one antenna connector. Some cars, if they got satellite, you're going to have an extra one. So there you go. All we got is one connector right here and then the satellite connector. To go back in, all you got to do is just the opposite of removal. Make sure you plug all your connectors in good, seat it down firmly, and put your four Phillips screws around the perimeter. Snap this piece back on. Phillips across the top, snap the top back down, and then you two Phillips in here, and then like I said, you've got to fold these back up in here, these little trim covers, the little doors here with the little plastic hinges. So there you have it, removal of the radio, pretty cut and dry. Like I said, just kind of follow the shortcuts. You won't do any damage as long as you don't go excessive on moving that upper cover and that front trim panel and then you can get the radio out otherwise you're going to spend more time taking the upper dash piece off as far as the bezel the upper cover the storage compartment underneath and then the center dash cover as well otherwise if you just do what i was showing you you're going to have plenty of room to get that radio out save you a lot of time and a lot of aggravation so at this point i ask for any kind of thumbs up on youtube don't forget to like me on facebook and follow me on twitter and you can also check me out on instagram as well if you got any comments, suggestions, anything whatsoever, feel free to contact me at david at motorcitymechanic.com. Once again, keep checking out these videos.